something. something to keep you busy. <laughs> I thought of that. Why? Last time you drafted a quarterback was Cam. Why? Why this one tonight? Um, you know, a again, I think this is a position where w when you get it, when you find a guy you like and you have a chance to get him and to help the depth that you know the the most important position on the team, arguably, then um, I think you have to do it. And we like Will. His, uh, I, I think he's got plenty of arm strength just to start off. His arm strength is, is not an issue. He's a timing passer. I think he's got an it factor that you see and you see being around his teammates and you can see it at the pro day and you can just see it on tape. And I think that he's a very talented quarterback who we had a chance to get with the – Hundredth pick in the draft, so we decided to to make the choice. This might be a asinine question, but have you guys? Did you guys um, have a conversation or has it talked with Cam about any of this, just so he kind of has known what to expect, or has he kind of known for some time? We haven't. I mean, I think Cam understands. This is about depth at the position, so it, it's not. You know, this is. Um, about having competition and bringing along young guys, grooming young guys, as we say. I think, you know, if you look at it, even the backup quarterbacks in this league, the best way to, to solidify the the depth in the backup position is to, to draft guys and groom guys. And, um, you know, Cam is, is our franchise quarterback, and Kyle we, and, and Taylor have, have been are, are very good quarterbacks for us. But we had a chance to bring a guy in that we think can add to, to the competition and the depth, and that's what we did. Marty, how many of these games did you get to, if, if any, in the fall? Um, I, I did not see him live. I went to the pro day, and I've watched a lot of tape of him. Yeah, but, and you mentioned And I was at the senior bowl and saw so. The arm strength was a question a lot of scouts it, it, You know, people have that. I, I, his arm strength, it, first of all, I think sometimes we as evaluators overrate arm strength as quarterbacks, I think getting the ball out of your hands and timing and accuracy is 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 much more important. But he's that to me, he's got plenty of arm strength. And I saw him live at the Senior Bowl. I saw him in his pro day. I, I really don't think arm strength is, is a question. I know it's not a question for us. Quarterback or NFL ready, was he compared to some of the other quarterbacks who were still on the board? Oh, I think that, David, I think that's a question that's hard to answer for any of them. You know, I mean, it's 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 uh, and Ron can speak to it better than I can. But, you know, it's a big adjustment from from the college game to, to our game. But um, it, it's just it's that's why you have to get young guys and, and bring them in and give them give them some time to grow. And, and I think that that's what we're doing here. Well, the, the, the biggest thing about him is, is he's played a lot of football and he's played a lot of football in, in good conferences. He grew up in a football household. And I think that really does help in terms of preparation. Um, as far as being ready, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what he knows once we get him here. Um, you know, he, he's, he's, I, he might be in town already, so um, he'll, be, he'll get an opportunity to be here tomorrow. We'll get a chance to visit with him. And then we'll get a chance in a couple of weeks to watch him uh, once we start the rookie program. So uh, I'm excited. I'm anxious just like everybody else to see exactly where he is. But he is a guy that's going to come in and compete and help to develop that depth that we need. I mean, and again, you need quality depth, and you, and you just point at a team like Philadelphia and look what they've done in the last two seasons, having two quality quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, that's what we would like to have, that type of situation. We were so fortunate to have Derek Anderson for as long as we did. Uh, we'd love to have another guy to come in and be that guy for us. Uh, we've got two young guys that we like that played well for us when they got their opportunities, and we're just adding a third guy to create some competition. Ron, those last three weeks, though, and, and I know Kyle played well in week 17, yep. but you, you had a, injuries to a couple of them. Yep. Did that sort of cement the idea that we might want to bring someone in? No, I, I think the idea has been cemented well over a year ago, and, and, and I, I bring that up because that's what Marty talked about, was finding that next guy. When we realized you know, that, that Derek decided he wasn't coming back, that we had to develop the next guy, and that's what the idea was with having Taylor and Kyle and now adding Will to that mix. We've got to think about developing the next guy. The thing I like is I really like our, 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 our offensive coordinator, and, and our quarterback coach, and, and both Norv and Scott are guys that you know can develop quarterbacks. So I, I'm excited about the opportunity for us to, to help develop a guy, groom a guy, grow a guy, get a guy ready to go just in case. 
Ron, Ron Wolf had a philosophy that you take a quarterback in every draft if you find one that fits in, in a certain round because, you know, of the value of the position and, and the fact that it does take time to grow those guys. And if you if you develop those guys and, and they are players, then they're going to help you in, in, in different ways, but they're going to help you down the road. So, um, you know, I, I think that – Ron's right. We we came to you know we had a have had a lot of discussions about, it, but the philosophy is that I think you have to any time you can get young guys and bring them in and develop them at that position. I think that's the right way to go. Well, there will obviously be some speculation because Cam had surgery on the that you know maybe you know this is partly because of that. But you still feel like nothing to do with Cam. I said he's our franchise quarterback. This is about depth and bringing in young guys and developing young guys. This has nothing to do with Cam Newton. Cam Newton is our starting quarterback and our franchise quarterback. And this is just about, you know, bringing in young guys to develop in, in depth. To, to Jordan's question, did you guys give him a courtesy heads up? There? I think I, I think probably he has known that, you know, this is a possibility. We haven't called him tonight, but – um, you know, n nobody's nobody appreciates the 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 concept of depth more than Cam Newton does. So, um, you know, again, he this is this is a, a, another guy in the the quarterback room. I think knowing Will Greer and being around and spending time with him, I think he's going to get um, along with Cam and the rest of the quarterbacks very well. Last week, uh, Ron, you talked about you know finding a quarterback that you know maybe similar to Cam, but a skill set that you like. What do you see about Will's skill set that you like that fits in with what you do offensively? Tremendous accuracy, good, quick decision making, delivers a very catchable ball, puts it where it needs to be put. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things. And listening to both Scott and North talk about you know their studies of Will, so I'm, I'm like I said, I'm excited to, to to have a guy come and join us and compete to put, compete to be part of what we, we're doing here. And I think uh, you know we can we can add a guy that's going to help us be a, a better football team. Then then I'm I'm thrilled about that. Anything else? Ryan, talk about, go ahead. He talks a lot about the multiple scenarios and how the board falls. How much of this draft pick of Will Greer dependent on what else was going to be available? Because you have that next pick coming up in just 15 more. Well, I think the biggest thing, most than anything else, is the way the board's set up is that when we get to our pick, we have to decide on what we're going to do. That's probably the best way to put it. And, uh, you know, when we got to our pick, you know, we, we were in a situation where we, we, we were very comfortable with the decision that was being made. Uh, again, as I said, you know, I like who he is for us. I like that he was there available for us. And uh, so Marty, you know, and, and talking with him, the decision was made that Will Greer was going to be our pick. Ron, did you spend enough time with him at all during this process to kind of get what Marty was saying about the it factor also? Or? Yes. He's interesting because he, he's, he's a, he's, he's, he's a um, very comfortable guy in who he is. And so when you start talking to him, you shake his hand, you look in his eyes, you know, you can see the confidence. And, and, and I can see that. Um, I think it was the Texas game when you watched the way he handled himself down the stretch. It was a, it was a heck of a football game, and he played very well in that game. And uh, you can see certain 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 things in guys. You know, it's like watching last year, watching Taylor when he got his first <coughs> opportunity to go out and play, and you know how confident he was on that first drive. And then you you watch Kyle and the way he handled the Saints game. So you know you feel good about guys that have that type of of personality. You know that 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 it factor about who they are. So again, as I said, I'm just I'm excited because I think this is a good group of guys we have now. About that phone call, I think he waited maybe longer than he thought. He's been partying <laughs> in Charlotte and being a guy that's from here. I'm sure. I said, "How play. do you feel?" And he said, "He said, I said, how, how you doing?" He said, "Much better now." And then you can hear his family in the background when he told them it was us. So it was uh, it was really cool. That's kind of one of the neat things about is when you you call somebody to tell them, "Hey, you know, you're, you're a Panther," and um, just to hear the excitement in his voice uh, and the relief. Um, but then to hear his family in the background was really, really cool. Have either of you guys gotten to know Chad at all, just kind of bumping into him in circles around football here? Or, Marty, have you seen, did, have you seen Will, like, when he was growing up at all? I, you know, I really didn't. Obviously, I was like everybody else. You always heard about him. You know, my sons played high school football, and every Friday night you'd hear about this kid up at Davidson. They was lighting it up. But... Um, you know, we just we spent a lot of time with him at this at, at the Senior Bowl and then uh, at his pro day and and have had I've had several visits with him and 
he's just he's all ball. You know, you can tell as as Ron said, he's from a he's from a football family, and it's extremely important to him. He's an extremely mature young man, um, and the, I think the thing that really stands out is is that you know how he does interact with his teammates and and how his teammates interact with him, and that's really important at that position. Does that composure that you describing about him does that mirror Derek Anderson at all? It'll be interesting to see if it does. You know, it's. I think it'd be unfair because you know Derek was such a veteran guy, and, and he really had that confidence about him. Very smart, bright football football player in DA. So, um, you know, all these things would be determined. Marty, did you have another quarterback or two that you know that you would have considered had Greer fallen off? Well, it's just that column's like every other column on the board. We line them up and and. Uh, you know, just like every other one, you, you kind of you have two or three or four guys, you know, in, in groups. But, um, you know, he's been a guy that, that we've watched a lot of tape on, we've spent a lot of time with, we followed, and, um, you know, we think he's got a ton of potential. Based on the way the board has fallen, where do you guys go now? What, what's the next step in the plan, I guess? Now it's, you know, best player. Best player available, see how it, it, it uh, plays out. and. Um, you know, now it's just guys are coming from everywhere and, and coming off the board and you just have to stick with your board. And, um, again, we've had, we've had so many conversations. I mean, we're, we're really prepared for whatever comes up. Well, what's really cool is we were able to address the three feature positions when you think about it, you know, the rusher, the, 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 the tackle, and, and now the quarterback. So, um, you know, we're just feeling good about what, what happened today. It was a good day for us. So compared to all the scenarios that you have prepared for up in the room, uh, these first two days have gone about as ideal as you expected. Yeah, well, I mean, I it, you know, again, you're always happy. You wouldn't have picked them if you if if you didn't like the players, but you know, we're pleased. We're very pleased with how the day went. I think that being able to get up and and get the left tackle, and then being able to get a, a young, talented quarterback that that. Uh, you think has has you know some promise in the future, that, that's a pretty good day. And then you add it with yesterday with a, a, a pass rusher. It, it's uh, again as Ron said, you know there there's there's three of the five premium positions, and and you feel good when you can add guys to those. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you.